Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of July. So, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. So, what do we have for Cancer for the month of July? Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest any time in July, okay? So what do we have for Cancer in July? Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Cancer? Goddess of the Moon, okay? So this is a very intuitive person, okay? Somebody that has a connection to the divine, per se. Um, very beautiful. So either you are taking on this energy or you're dealing with this person. This is obviously goddess. This word is, is here for a reason. Um, there's more to something than meets the eye. I think that you need to look a little bit deeper. I feel like there's some sort of, some. you know, when I see seven, five plus two equals seven, it, it's a number from heaven. Okay, you may have been sent something from heaven. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think that you are uh, connecting with a higher power. Uh, you're connecting with a somebody that is very divine or you are very divine, something like that. Um, I do feel as though you need to follow your intuition at this time. I think you're highly intuitive this month. You're going to be feeling a lot of things. I think it's going to be an emotional month where you're really receiving a lot of messages, intuitive messages, uh, guidance perhaps. Um, now when you get the moon, you could be dealing with... Um, some fear even. You may be fearful, fearful of the unknown. I think that you need to look a little bit deeper, look look below the surface. You may be dealing with somebody that, you know, all is not as it seems. Look deeper, look deeper, okay? Um, there's definitely a lot of beauty here because I just feel beauty, okay? So, and heaven sent. Something is, is heaven sent. Um, it almost feels like there's a wish. You see the star, like, coming through the moon? It's almost like there's a wish being granted or something like that. There's hidden forces as well with the moon card. Oh, I was going to use these, but they started to shuffle and that fell out. So we're going to take it. Oh, tower. Now the tower, it fell out. <coughs> so the tower is a disruption, right? It is. It's, it's a much needed uh, clean out. Okay. Uh, this is a shock. Now it doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be bad. So this is a shocking event that may make you feel uncomfortable, okay? This is an internal disruption, okay? So this is a life change. It is a major life change. And I don't think that you saw it coming. <clears throat> You may be feeling disruption because life is changing. For some reason, I feel like it's positive change. I think there's fear though. There's fear. There's some sort of fear. Fear of deception perhaps. Maybe you're fearful. But the tower can can you know usually is breaking down of false foundations. Okay, it's a breaking down of false foundations so that you can build a stronger foundation. You may be building a strong or starting to build a stronger foundation this month. Um, perhaps you all is not as it seems. Okay, the moon is a card of all is not as it seems. You may have been in a false foundation that crumbled. Maybe they had something better in mind for you. 
Okay, let's see what we got with these. Let's, what do we have for can for cancer? Well, my God. One more. Um, one more, please. Flipping all over the place. They were flipping right out. So, oh, Rose. Yeah, I feel like this is good. Romance is in the air, Cancer. Tulip, great passion. Oh my God, love and passion. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. And that's why I said you're going to be getting messages. You have a divine connection. I know, I can see that you do. Okay, bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Oh, this looks really good. This, and I know it's interesting because I typically do not read the tower as positive. And if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that. I feel like this is an internal disruption because there's some sort of change that is a shock. This is a shock to you. It's a shock to your system. Okay. So you are getting compl You have an admirer here. You're going through some sort of spiritual development of some sort. Sort You have a connection. Great passion and romance. So this is absolutely beautiful. So there's, the, but I think that there's uneasiness about it, right? There's a feeling of fear. Fear, that, is this too good to be true? You know, you may be waiting for some sort of, uh, bad news by the looks of things. I think there's fear. There's fear of the unknown. Okay. So let's get started. Not that we have it. Let's get started. Magician, you have manifested something. This is the this is this is calling in your soulmate, right? This is as above, so below. So something has crumbled in the past. Okay, and it crumbled for a reason, okay? This is the answer to your prayers. I feel like your prayers are being answered in some way. Uh, now, you could, this is a, you know, when I see the infinity sign, it can, there's, 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 this is a good character. Somebody that has a very good character. Could be you, could could be the person that you're dealing with. But there's, that, this is a, the divine connection I was talking about. You're going to have a divine connection with somebody. I think it's a soulmate connection and, and, you know, I don't know if this is love related or what, but this is, you have manifested something very positive and I think that you're going to feel uncomfortable with it. <laughs> I do. I think it's going to cause some sort of heartburn even, you know, you may be, a, this is a shock. It's a shock to your system. It is. Um, they've answered your prayers in some way. They, you, they heard your prayers, which is interesting. So the magician takes action to bring success. Now this is uh, a masculine energy that is very strong, very powerful. Okay. And this is a golden opportunity. There's a golden opportunity for success here. There is to build a new foundation with somebody. Ooh, now we have a golden opportunity that could be missed, that could be lost. Don't throw it away because of your fears. Okay, so I feel like there's definite fears here. There is some sort of fears, like they're bringing you an opportunity that you could lose if you don't. This is a need to take action, okay? To be strong, to take action, to open your heart. This definitely is a golden opportunity for for okay, golden opportunity for passion, for love, uh, for truth. You know, I feel like this is a connection that you asked for, and you need to be very careful that it doesn't slip away because of your own insecurities. You may have insecurities inside of you that you know cause a loss. You got to be damn careful here. Um, Oh my God. So that is your energy, the chariot reversed. Now we have four tarot cards here and three of them are majors. 
So the, and the first card out is a universe card. So we have the universe here. The universe is in control. Universe has answered your prayers. You may throw it away because you can't master your emotions because you're scatterbrained or, you know, you uh, aren't ready or you didn't see it coming or your emotions are all over the place, right? You you are lacking direction, you know? That the chariot reversed. You're not ready to take the lead. You you're not in control of your emotions. Okay? The chariot reversed is not in control of your emotions. So you're going to need to be in control of your emotions this month. <laughs> You've manifested something. You have. You've manifested a golden opportunity. But you need to take action and find your willpower to take the lead in this situation. Take take ownership or something like that. Don't let it slip away. Put effort in. This is not putting in effort. Not working hard enough. So you could lose something that could uh, has potential to be long term if you don't put in effort so I feel like you're dealing with insecurities within yourself now this is like a loss of abundance losing money um, or losing a job some of you may be now this is, could be an emotional outburst ahead and I know I'm changing the story a, a bit but this is a major disruption Okay, it is. Some of you, and I'm changing the story because that's, this is what just came to my head. Somebody that is watching this reading is going to experience a major disruption in their home or their work or their establishment. Uh, things may come to a stop. They may, there may be no more driving. It could be if you have a business that, oh, my ear is ringing, that uh, involves driving. You know, the, things could come to a stop. There's no more going out on the road, okay? Something like that. Uh, there could be a loss of money here, okay? There's no more um, travel or something like that. Um, this is you, something you asked for, though. So you need to be careful. Be, this is, there could be a difficult path ahead for you because of your own fears or something like that. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but finding the resources and the discipline and the willpower to move away from the false foundation maybe that you built with somebody. There could be fears of, and this is fears as well, fears of it not working out. Oh my God, don't let your fears get in the way of something that could be successful. Mm. Oh my goodness, five of pentacles reverse. For some of you, for some of you, there is, now the, the magician is somebody that is very, very powerful, that takes action. This is somebody who gets creative, that has all the resources, that has a divine connection, that has asked for something. Now, whether it's you or somebody else, you could be dealing with um, somebody that has a divine connection, okay? With the moon and the magician, this could be a psychic, okay? This could be a tarot reader, it could be a healer or somebody. This person may have asked for something. Okay, we have for some of you, and I'm not trying to, and whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, there's like, there could be some financial burden here. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody could be losing money fast. Okay, there could be financial ruin here, a major financial loss. Just saying, there could be. Um, this is a disgrace of some sort, loss of a business for some of you, and I'm, and I, or somebody that you're dealing with, okay, whether it's you or them or whoever it is. Um, whew. 
Oh my God, this is definitely financial loss, financial mess. No contingency plan. Lacking balance, poor financial decisions. Somebody was overextending themselves, biting off more than they can chew. There's going to be a financial loss here, whether it's for you or somebody that you're dealing with. And, you know, you may, oh my God, you may get really, really, really upset over it. Something is, and I'm not, I'm sorry. There's definitely, um, I mean, <laughs> the two of pentacles reversed, the five of pentacles reversed, the eight of pentacles reversed, and the ace of pentacles reversed. This is a financial loss. It absolutely is. So this could be a loss. And it, with a tower, that's an establishment. Could be a home. Could be a business. Complete stop. Done. Over. But the magician has the resources to be successful. You may have to get creative. You may have to, you know, invent something. going on here cancer there's definitely financial burden there's financial loss okay loss of something big okay whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with oh my god there's an absence of success because the universe says this is not based in love it's not based in somebody doesn't have the right intentions it's not based out of love, okay? This is based out of greed. Manipulation, there's some sort of manipulation here. What the hell is going on here? The King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is withdrawn, uh, secretive, closed off, doesn't have very good intentions. Isn't emotionally available. And it may be seen. The universe may see that somebody doesn't have good intentions. This person is shallow and superficial and manipulative. Whoever this person is that is, and I know I'm changing the story, is going to, whoever this person is that is not very kind that is not very nice, that is very focused on pretending to be somebody that they are not, they are going to be stopped dead in their tracks, just so you know. They aren't going to be going anywhere. Okay, they're not going to be going anywhere. They're not going to be uh, making any money. It feels like it's going downhill. I'm sorry. What the hell is going on? The chariot reverses an emotional outburst ahead. Um, so whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, unable to master your emotions. Um, now, you could even have some vehicle issues that cost you some money. There could even be an accident that costs you money. Okay? Somebody could get in an accident, you know, and, and it costs money. You know, because there's there's big financial loss here, and it could have to do with vehicles and or a business or something like that. Page of Wands, but there is some good news. Okay, so this is good news. Okay, thank God, right? Even though there may be money problems or financial problems, there may be some a new opportunity here. This is um, try to stay focused. Try to stay focused. You need something new. When you get the Page of Wands, it means that there's a need for something new. You need to take a new approach. You must find the strength to follow through. You also probably have a new suitor coming in that is uh, very well suited for you. Okay, this is a very positive new beginning that is coming in. But you're going to definitely have to get creative. You're going to have to get creative here. 
And you're going to have to, the, no fear. You have to let go of your fear. So I feel like you're going to be needing to build a new foundation and get really creative, which is interesting. There is definite financial loss here, though. Or not putting in, if it's not financial loss, it's not putting in effort to build a new foundation with somebody because of your fears. It could go both ways. But... You know, we could go all day with just these cards. But anyway, the Five of Pentacles reversed is, uh, could be total ruin. There's some sort of total ruin here. Um, but there also could, well, let me just get a card for over here. Hold on one second. There's some, something good coming in because there's, there's a new opportunity here. There's an opportunity, a new opportunity that's coming in for you. Ah, the Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. Thank the Lord Jesus. So, yes, you will have a victory. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because this, this is a card of going through some sort of battle. Okay, you come out on the other side as the victor. So you will be victor, victorious, but you're going to have to master your emotions through this chaotic situation that costs you some sort of a huge financial loss so you're going to be it's either losing like the business or the home or i'm sorry i don't know if it's that big but it's some i feel like it's big i feel like it's big or if it's not the home or the business it's it's uh a job um financial stability um and it's going to be, it's going to be quite the, uh, struggle. Okay. I think it's going to be the struggle, be a struggle, but I think that you, you are going to feel, find the resources to come through this. I do. I do. I feel, also feel like there's a new suitor here for some of you. For some of you, there's somebody that you are, or there's a new opportunity that could really grow. There is. You may invent something or come up with something that, uh, brings you towards victory in a new direction. This is a new approach. It's a new direction. You're going to be going in a new direction, put it that way. And I think that um, maybe maybe you're, you're leaving. Maybe you're leaving a business. Maybe something like that. Or you're leaving a home or something. Um, Ten of Cups. So we do have a relationship here. Something to do with a relationship. Now, there could be the ending of a relationship as well because of the Ten of Cups. Tens are completions. But there is headed towards happiness, a happy relationship. So for some of you, you're headed towards a happy relationship where there will be reciprocation, where there will be, this is what you deserve. It's getting what you deserve. This person may be a little bit younger than you. You may be having somebody new come into your life. This is a very positive influence that helps you, um, that that you get into a relationship with. Okay, this may be somebody that, this is, this is your savior. Okay, this is your victory after this uh, downfall, after this chaotic event, after this shutdown, whatever it is that has cost you so much money. Anyhow, I feel like you are headed or somebody is headed towards you either way. You are headed or somebody is headed towards you that is a very positive influence that can help you to build a new successful foundation. So you're going to there's there's definitely romance in the air and there is great passion. Okay, so I think that you are going to be starting a new project or a new, going down a new path after being through some sort of significant battle with a previous business or a job or whatever it is. I feel like that battle is going to end. Okay, I think that fight is over. I think it's done. Okay, there's nothing you can do to save it. It's over. It's time to rebuild a new foundation. And I think that's what you're going to be doing. I think you're going to be building, rebuilding, getting inventive and rebuilding a new foundation. Maybe it's a new business, a new job, a new life. Okay, I do feel as though you are going to be, uh, you could, some of you may be moving. 
Oh, look at that. Six of Swords. I was go looking at these two, but this this is moving. Yeah, so some of you may be moving. You may be moving to a better place, moving out, leaving leaving behind that old false sense of security, that old home, that old business, whatever it is. You are moving. You're taking that new approach. You're, you're getting out, okay? I think that you've you've been fed up. You've waited long enough. You, you've tried to make it work, and now it's time to go. It's so... You know, I feel as though um, you have a new opportunity coming in this month. You are going to be getting compliments from an admirer. This person's a little bit younger than you. This person's going to help you. This is the answer to your prayers. It's, it's, it's the reason why this crumbled so that you can move with this person. You can move forward with this person. Um, everything happens for a reason. So... Uh, I think you are going to be uh, going down a new path that is very exciting. You're headed towards a relationship that uh, probably makes you feel very uneasy. You're probably feeling, you, you are probably going to feel like... Uh, scared I think that you are going to be scared um but whoever is is whoever you're going to be working with or whoever you're going to be coming together with um is a perfect you know is a good suitor for you this is somebody who is very well matched for you and there will be passion okay there will be passion this person will will boost you up Okay, they will boost you up. They will, uh, it won't be, you know, they won't, it won't be somebody that, whoever this person is, you won't have to um, prove yourself to them. This is a turning point. It's a turning point in your life. You've had, you may have had a profit, then a loss, and you were struggling, and you went through this downfall, this shutdown, whatever, this crazy situation which caused like a collapse. But this all happened for a reason because now they're bringing you an opportunity that is really going to be successful. Good luck.